Hi, it's me again, uh, me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this morning, I made a video on on drawing a puzzle, and I was playing around with it this afternoon and found out a couple ways to make it quicker and better. So I, I brought in an indexing line. I'm drawing in the center of the box like I normally do, or center of the page. I'm just going to take a two-point line and I'm just going to connect from about right there to about there. And they clicked on the nodes. I'm going to get the shape tool. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to right click the mouse. I'm going to turn it to a curve. Maybe I'll bring that one down a little bit. And if you notice, I'm just drawing half of it at a time. And that's what the video is about. It'll actually make it a little easier. You can bring that handle in, be more on the line. That looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is let's zoom in here. We are going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete everything on this side of the line. Now I'm going to select both these. I'm going to control D, make a duplicate. I'm going to grab that handle right there and I'm going to make a perfect copy. And then that way you can kind of see how it looks. We'll take away the indexing line now because it will actually stop the virtual segment delete key from going all the way through. And we'll delete these lines we do not need. Now I can already see I've got a little bit of a double line there. So you might want to correct that, but really there's a way to fix that. And I'll show you that in just a second. And that's not the, the best one. I actually did a better one earlier, but you'll get the idea for the video. Now, I'm going to group this together, Control G. My box is 4 inches, so I'm going to set my nudge distance on 4 inches. I'm going to Control D, and I'm going to move it down 4 inches. I'm going to get my virtual segment delete key and delete that inner part. I'm going to select them both, and I'm going to Control G and group them together. Control D to rotate it. Matter of fact, I probably didn't have to rot uh, group them. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, because of the uh, two parts that are all long, it'll, it'll do that. But if you got snap to object, it'll do that right there. Now take your virtual segment delete key and delete all these lines you do not need. And I'm going to show you why now you didn't really care about those double lines because they're all equal. Take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. Now you've got a perfect uh, shape. Uh, the, those double lines are gone because the Smart Fill tool filled them in. So we're going to get rid of our drawing one. And we're going to, because it's 4 inches, our nudge factor is still set on 4. Control D, move it over. And this is really one of the reasons I'm making the video to show you something a little faster than the one earlier today. Control D. Okay, we've got all that now. And earlier today I went through and I had to click on each square to delete these outer sides. We'll just select it all, go up to arrange and combine. Now they're all combined together, so I don't have to do anything but lasso and delete. Lasso and delete. Lasso and delete. This is a lot faster than having to click on each individual tab. You know, almost through here and we'll be done. I did this probably in half the time. Now, you've got it and just break curve apart. And you've got individual pieces of a perfect puzzle. And if you didn't watch the first video, I showed how to power clip uh, something into there. But that was a little bit easier. I would definitely try to make, and it doesn't really matter. It's going to be your puzzle, but I would make this maybe a little more rounded, but it looks pretty good. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.